Christus gesele wie es das stieb wie es das meiter I never talked to my children about the Holocaust This is the first interview really I've done with anybody on my past I was born in Poland My brother's name David My older sister Helen My mother did light candles for the Sabbath and she would braid challah and say a prayer. My mother and my father adored each other. It's a great love there between them. The German foe begins its ruthless march of conquest and sets the stage for World War II. We were asked to leave our villa and had to live in downtown Sosnovets. We had to wear the Jewish Star of David. We were very hungry, and my mother was talking about gorgeous foods, French food, souffles. <laughs> we were trying to eat by talking about it. Most of my family was taken away. They put us in the car, you know, and locked us in, and the transport started. We arrived at Birkenau. My dad and I were together, thank God. He was always there, my protecting angel. And in the park, I happened to come upon Manus Diamond, whom I knew. And Manus said, I can give you false papers for labor camps. The camp was in Germany near Stuttgart. They were making barrels for ammunition. But it was hard labor. I mean, we were given this much food for a whole week. We saw now the American planes or the Allies planes were coming in closer. And I just at that time pretty much made up my mind that the first opportunity I'll have, I will try to escape. We get up, and it's real quiet. We go to the factory, and the factory is nobody is there. And then all of a sudden, I hear people singing with American flags. And they saying, hi, hi. And they wave those flags on this road and the Germans are hanging from the trees. <laughs> I was anxious to get back to Poland to try to look for my family. A person comes in who lived in my city, and he says, do you know what an angel your sister Helen is? I said, my sister Helen, is she alive? I pack a little bag and then on my way to Berlin. I open the door and she sits behind the desk in an English uniform and she runs out and boy, that was some reunion. A newspaper man came to this transit camp to write a story. His name was Harold Kempner. And believe it or not, we got married. And Aviva was born the 23rd of December. In June 1946, I arrived in the United States. I get my first paycheck, $24, 60 cents an hour. And the first thing I did, I went to get a haircut, a menu career, a shoe shine, <laughs> and a facial. I enrolled in the art school. They were very nice, and they thought I had talent. I had a museum show, a one-woman museum show. I got into the construction business, built warehouses, commercial buildings, one synagogue. I've helped build a Buddhist temple. I helped build a Muslim school. You want me to describe my life in a very few words. It's a pocket full of miracles.